Okay, before I start, uh, I want you all to do something for me. Uh, just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now pull out your smartphones. Just pull them out. And I want you to now text somebody back home that you're having a wonderful morning today. Difficult? Okay, open your eyes. Let's try something else, okay? You know, it's very rude not to respond to a greeting in our culture. This was just to give you a taste of what exclusion feels like. Now, I want to ask you guys a few questions for which I want a yes or a no answer. Do you guys enjoy going to a local coffee shop with your special someone? Do you enjoy going out for a movie to watch your favorite film? Do you go out, do you like going out to a bar to have a celebration? Do you like going out on a vacation with your family? Great. Uh, you should know that a hundred million people in India find all of this extremely challenging because of inaccessible infra infrastructure. Yes, I mean 100 million people with disabilities in India don't get to go into a coffee shop with their special someone because their menu cards are not printed in braille. They don't get to go into a theater to watch their favorite film because it has no ramps. And they don't get to go into a bar because there's a skepticism around it. We don't often think about this this way, but at some point or the other in their lives, they feel excluded from society. We live in a world where almost everything seems to be getting divided. Uh, cultures and religion is divi dividing mindsets and countries are dividing people. We started this concept called social spaces where we gave an opportunity for people to come together on an inclusive, in a fully inclusive platform to get to know one another. And here we have necessary ramps, fully wheelchair accessible spaces, accessible washrooms, and sign language interpreters who not only interpret the entire meetup, but also interpret music to the hearing impaired. Let me show you what that looks like. When we started Social Spaces last year, we had five people who attended our meetup here in Gurgaon. Uh, today, we have at least 80 to 100 people that come in every single time. It's a year and about 20 meetups later, we bring together the largest community of people with disabilities with over 10,000 people from 80 plus cities. Now, you may think that this meetup is only for people with disabilities. But let me tell you that this is an inclusive platform where people without disabilities have as much fun or even more. From, from beaches to public parks to bars to cafes to hotels, we have explored it all. And what's even better is we do things like stand-up comedy, like band performances, like storytelling, like karaoke, like, uh, like movie screenings. We create this environment which makes you feel there's a feeling of oneness and there's a feeling of belongingness. Now, my three takeaways from, from my perspective of in this company, when you're designed for people Persons with disability, you design, you design for all. You may have a temporary injury, and this is for you when you can't walk up the stairs. You may have a child, and you may want to take it around on your pram. This is for you. And when you grow old, you may lose your sight. This is also for you. Awareness isn't enough. Demand for inclusivity. Inclusivity is the need of the hour. This is the only way that mankind can move forward. 
with the aim of having a hundred social spaces this year, we insist that every venue has necessary ramps, signages, and interpreters. This is the only way that people tend to see that this makes not only economic, not only social, but also economical sense. One out of ten in India face a disability. Just look around you. Imagine if one out of ten around you in your friend or family circle met with an accident and had to face a disability. Would you treat them any different? This is a great opportunity and it gives them opportunity, it gives them an excuse to talk to each other uh, who they have not been talking otherwise. Uh, you never know which conversation can lead to a relationship and marriage and, and, and the great life ahead. मैं थोड़ा ये था नर्वस था कि भाई पता नहीं मैं शायद वहाँ जाऊँगा तो जो है कोई अलग थलग ना रह जाऊँ कहीं ना कहीं एक वो ललक थी आपके इस प्रोग्राम में आने की तो जिसको मैं रिजर्वेशन ना भी मिलने की के बाद भी मैं आया हूँ मैं यूपी में पढ़ता है मेरा डिस्ट्रिक्ट शामली Children have been missing this uh, thing where they could date, they could meet a partner, or they could just go about uh, with boys and girls. Not only a person with the uh, opposite sex, but with same sex as well. This help is actually helping them to come out of their own shelters, own shells, and also helping parents to remove their wings. Apps like this that can let them know people uh, from the comfort of their homes and they can meet them only when they know who they are. I mean, this is something that the people must uh, want to know. Uh, so the awareness has to be spread. It is uh, my wish that we cultivate this mindset for inclusivity because like I said, it is the only way to move forward. And like Martin Luther King puts it, one does not start living until he comes out of his confines of his narrow uh, individualistic concerns to a broader one of all of humanity. Thank you.